Hey guys, what is up? It is Connor, and today we're going to load Cinema 4D tutorial for the DDS of RuneScape. So, just to start off, you want to create your new project. You want to go to your output on your render settings and just change it to something like 1024, 768, just to get something different. And let's start making the DDS itself now. So, the first thing you want to do is go to your spline tool and click on four sided. Type in on the A, you want to type in 2. 85 and on the B 99 just because 99 is cool and you want to go to the P type in 90 just so it flips that on its side and uh, this is where we're going to start making our DDS itself so the next thing you want to do is click on your nerbs and you want to make a loft nerbs and pull your four sided under that rename it let's name it DDS blade that slash let me hold on there we go now to start making the blade have shape you want to highlight your four side and copy it down you want to drag it up just a little bit a little bit more there we go and you want to change the a to 274 273 just something just something less than 285 and you want to change the B 80 actually let's make it 85 just so it's not so drastic okay then we're gonna copy the four side again make sure it goes into the DDS blade pull it up make the A at 260 make the B to or just 70 let's make it 76 something stupid <laughs> now you want to drag that up a little bit more okay now right now we're gonna start bending it and all that so you're gonna grab your four side again and copy it pull it up just a tiny bit go to your rotation tool and I think it's 20 let's do 20 it doesn't matter how much you do it how much you rotate it it just matters if you want it to curve like this or you want it to curve like a little bit or just like a lot so once you do that you copy your four side again you make the A at 245 and the B at 64. These are just all random numbers. I'm just I'm just taking these off the top of my head. Um, four side, copy that down. You want to again pull it up. Don't pull the middle of it. Pull the blue up and over a little bit. And you want to make the A 230. Actually, let's make it a... Uh, 220 and you want to make the B 50 you don't want any of these sharp edges here so we'll we'll get rid of all that at the end and now you want to rotate this a little bit more so hold shift and bring it over let's say 15 you want to copy it uh, one more time probably a couple more times actually pull it out make the a 190 make the B 40 let's make it 40 just so if you see from the side here it's getting it's getting progressively smaller and smaller on each side and you want to copy it one more time pull it out and make both of these one not ten just one why did I do one hold on let me fix that okay you want to rotate it just a little bit, 25 something weird, and then you want to pull it out a lot. Now we can get into fixing all these bumpy edges here, like I have here. You guys might get these. Um, you just want to pretty much just mess around with all these things, just to smooth it out, so you don't have something uh, really jaggedy and all that. So I'm guessing that's this one, yeah. Here we go, smooth that out. I need to pull this one down a little bit. Or up, actually. So now it looks a little bit smoother. Let me fix this part right here. So I can just make this a little bit smaller. And pull it over. So that's just the basic shape of the DDS blade itself. Now you might be asking, well, uh, I want to do some of that uh, super poison so here's how you do that you just copy that out 
Just uh, just a proportion of it. Doesn't really have to be much. Just don't make it most of the blade. Make it most of the tip. You want to minimize this. Create new loft nerves. Make it uh, DDS poison. And highlight all these four sides that you made. Bring it under the DDS poison. And you pretty much want to click on this thing over here. And you want to bring uh, this all the way over. Let me see what I'm doing wrong. Press on the editable thing here. And bring this over. Pretty much you want to get into the center as much as you can. So you don't have to resize it or replace uh, it again later. <coughs> Sorry. And you want to resize it just to be a little bit bigger than the DDS itself. So like that. You want to open it back up, go to the bottom one, drag it above it. You want to resize it a little bit, rotate it a little bit, and then pull it down. Just so you can kind of see it here. It goes along the edge there. All that. So now we're going to start making the, the hilt and the handguard. I just grouped those and called them both DD at both DDS blade. I'm gonna group it one more time and call it DDS full. Just so we can open this back up and we can put all of our stuff into it. So what you want to do next is drag your DDS blade up. And to get the fit into the handguard itself really nice, go into your DDS blade, copy the bottommost one. You want to pull it down just a little bit. And take the A and the B down a bunch, but don't take it down to like zero or anything or one. Then you want to get out of it, out of the DDS blade. You want to grab a spline tool rectangle, and you want to make it an actual rectangle and not a square. So however you want to do that would be fine. What I like to do is I like to go to the H and type in 90. Then click on this little box up here, and you can see from the top the proportions of it, so the width. You can see how big you would want to make it, probably like this big or something. And then you want to make the height smaller than it itself, just so it's not uh, all weird and crap. So you can see it's just a little bit bigger than the DDS itself, which is what we want in the 3D part of it. So go back to your 3D view. And again, we're going to go back to the loft nerves. We're going to call this handguard. Bring your rectangle into the handguard and pull it under the DDS full just because that's where we're going to put everything. So you want to start copying this and drag it out that way. You can even drag it out this way, but it won't matter later because we're just going to copy both of these. And, uh, and we're going to spin it and all that. So keep that in mind. Now for this, you want to copy this one, pull it over, pull it down, and then rotate it about like 40 degrees or something. Now you want to grab your triangle, rectangle three. It should be rectangle three right now, or four. And you want to pull it below. Now you want to pull it back a little bit, just so it gives a little bit of a curve. You can do whatever curve way you want. You could even do a... Uh, a wave kind of thing. Just pull it like this and uh, go back. But it gives you a little sharp edge and all that. If you do it the other way, I'm going to go back to where I had it like that. So I can pull it down. And uh, yeah, to get the sharp edges on this kind of stuff, you just copy it wherever you want to get that sharp edge. So I uh, just thought people might want to know. And when you get to the handguard part, it's really whatever you want to do with it, just to make it look uh, something your own. Just something nice, something clean, something pretty sweet. And what I like to do is just something like this. Just pull it out and uh, make it go to like one. Not the width, sorry. Not the width. I like the width to go a little bit smaller, but then the height to go all the way to zero. Or one, sorry. You can't make it zero, so it disappears. So right now you have this, and what you want to do is you want to grab the handguard, copy it, spin it 180, 
and then grab the red and flip that 180. You can actually just go down here and type 180. And you want to line this up, which wouldn't, uh, wouldn't be that hard. You can go into the side views and all that, but since this is a tutorial, I'm not really that worried about getting it perfect. But you guys can do as perfect as you guys want. So just get that as close as you can. And then drag it over. And make it make it as far out as you want. I'll just keep mine like this. So it kind of looks like that right now. To fix this little weird thing I got going on, I'm going to delete this one right here so I can see. Okay. Right. Hold on. I'm sorry. All right. So it should look better there. Yeah, that looks a lot better. So we have stuff like that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create the handle and the hilt. Do that. What I like to do is just grab a cylinder. You want to make it almost as big as your handguard, but not just as big. And make it a little bit taller. Pull it into here. Make it a little bit taller. And you want to go back to your 3D view, just so you get something like this. You can make it uh, whatever proportion you want, whatever portion you seem fitting. But uh, this is the size I'm doing. You can you can copy all my radiuses and stuff. So I just like... 470 radius just 60 or something like that just so you guys can see all the radiuses and all that stuff you could see it on the side if you go watch the video back you'll see all the radiuses on the side you can copy pretty much the same project um, now what I like to do is I like to grab a torus and I like to resize it to be pretty small in diameter and in width just so it's just bigger than the uh, handle itself and then you want to rotate I think it's 40 degrees or we can do 30 which wouldn't be bad either make it just about this size I like to pull it over just a little bit and then copy it rotate it uh, 70 just so you get this cool X shape you want to pull this one over. Hold on. There we go. Just so you get the X shape. Uh, X shape all cool. Looks kind of like cloth and all that. The next part you want to go to is MoGraph and Cloner. You want to grip your two torses. The drag it under this cloner. And then you go into the cloner properties and just boost it up until it gets to the top of the handle or something like that. So, 7 should be fine for us. Actually, we can do 8. We can do 8. Put that A in there. There we go. So, that looks pretty sweet there with all that. And what you would want to do next, I don't know if everybody wants to do it, but I usually get a planatonic. I put it down here, make it a little bit bigger. And. Yeah, that's pretty much the blade and all of that right now. And in part two, you guys can watch the actual coloring, not coloring, but uh, shading and all the extra stuff, all the, all the textures and all that. So uh, thanks, guys. And uh, here's the annotation for part two.